Welcome to our college basketball studios. Ryan Burr, Hubert Davis, and Jay Billis, uh, two guys that know a thing or two about the rivalry in college basketball. Of course, we're talking about Duke and North Carolina. They'll do it again tonight, 9 o'clock on ESPN. Both teams with one loss in the ACC. How has North Carolina kind of come around and turned the corner? Well, they've improved on both ends of the floor. I think they've done a great job defensively getting the pass lanes, allowing them to get out in transition. That's their best way to score. But on the offensive end, Harrison Barnes has been absolutely terrific shooting the basketball. I think taking better shots, taking care of the basketball, hit two game-winning shots. And then Kendall Marsh at the point guard position. Five starts this year. In those five starts, North Carolina is averaging 86 points a game. So you put all those things together. Now this is a team that's won 10 out of their last 11 games, Jay. I think a couple keys in this game. North Carolina has to pound the ball inside. I think they have an advantage inside. That's what they do. They go inside first. And also Kendall Marshall is going to be a key. Had 16 assists in the game against Florida State. He is really the, the leader of that team with the ball in his hands. Duke's going to go after him and pressure him. They're also going to go after him and make him guard on the defensive end, try to get him in foul trouble, limit his minutes. Duke is undefeated at home. Both losses came on the road at Florida State, then at St. John's. When you look at Duke now, no Kyrie Irving. We know he's probably not going to play this year. Similarities to last year's team, because this Duke team capable of making a run to the Final Four? I, I think they can. I really like them defensively. I like the, the guards. Nolan Smith, a, a guy that can shoot from three, penetrate, get the ball into the lane, distribute. Kyle Singler is one of the best players, small forwards slash power forwards in the country. I think the key for Duke is their big players. Mason and Miles Plumley. can they finish around the basket? Can they defend? Can they rebound? Ryan Kelly coming off the bench. Those are the three guys that are going to determine if, North, if uh, Duke can get back to a Final Four and win a national championship. And I think they have to have good play out of Seth Curry and Andre Dawkins, Mason Plumley. They're sophomore class is going to be a big factor. And Nolan Smith throwing his name into player of the year consideration. Yes, He's he been is. that good been leading great. the ACC in scoring and in assists. Would be the first player ever to do that if he could finish the year that way. For Jay Billis and Hubert Davis, I'm Ryan Burr. Back to you in Sports Center. All right, thanks a lot, Ryan. On what to watch for tonight at 7 Eastern, Georgetown and Syracuse at the Carrier Dome. 11th ranked Hoyas have won six straight Big East games. Meanwhile, the Cues has won back to back games following that four game losing streak.